Hello, this is an intro to the Team Advisory Board at Pasadena Public Library. My name is Jane Gubb and I am the Team Librarian. And as of March 2021, here's who's on our team. We have Kaylee, Cassandra, Genevieve, Jasmine, Leo, Luke, Noah, Vivian, and Yen Yi. Hi, I'm Vivian. I'm, uh, I go to PHS and I'm in ninth grade. Hi, I'm Leo Sugiyama. I'm a freshman at Loyola High School in Los Angeles, and I've been a TAB member for about a year now. Hi, I'm Yanni, and I am a current junior at Gavilino High School. And I joined TAB because it originally just sounded pretty interesting, and I just wanted to be a bigger part in the Pasadena community. Hi, I'm Genevieve Harvey. I go to Blair High School, and I'm a senior right now. I've been a TAB member for, I believe this will be my sixth year. And so, hi, I'm Luke Sugiyama. Um, I am in the 12th grade and I go to St. Francis High School in La Cunada. I've been a TAB member for about five years now. But what I is Teen Advisory Board? Also known as TAB, it is a group of teen volunteers for the library who take an active leadership role in helping us plan, promote, and advocate for youth services in Pasadena. The programs and services they create are in collaboration with library staff and community members and using library resources, but not always taking place in the library building. Some of TAB's more well-known activities are the Teen Mental Health Initiative, which launched in 2016. The annual teen murder mystery that takes place at Central Library during after hours. They plan all the details, create clues, act, and put on the show. and their connection to the Youth Master Plan and the Youth Network, where they connect and advocate with other youth advisory teams in our community. So this is a little personal, I guess, but our memorable experience was when Jane gave me the access code to our meeting room, which was at the, on the first floor. It was the old tab meeting room. Now we didn't used to meet up at the fourth floor in the teen um, central. So when I felt, like, feeling a responsibility as if she really trusted me knowing that I'd only been on tab for about three months I had volunteered consecutively with the library and I had always communicated with her when I couldn't make it but I always tried to make my appointment and it just felt I felt really proud that she trusted in me and I can tell that she understood that I wanted to be a part of tab. I wanted to make it a better uh, group to be a part of that I wanted to contribute something and that I wanted to do good for the community and help teens and help with teen advocacy. So that was a really great opportunity to have. Um, I would have to say that a memorable experience on TAB would be my first murder mystery. Um, it was kind of my first experience to what TAB does for the library and for teens in the community. And it was a really great experience because um, Jane had had us all separate into like smaller groups and she assigned older people because I was in sixth grade at the time or seventh grade um, she assigned older people to be the leads of the smaller groups and it really felt like a small like a small group experience and the leaders were able to kind of help us learn what we're supposed to do so that way the next year when they were gone um, another member could take over their position. And I think that was a great way of leadership, showing leadership towards the younger kids so that they knew what to do the next year whenever they got to assume the role of lead of the smaller uh, murder mystery group. So that was a really fun experience. I would say my most memorable experience in TAB is participating in my first murder mystery. I just had recently joined TAB and I didn't really know what to expect as far as what we're doing or what type of people will be there. As the meetings went on, I learned that TAB is about making like changes in the community and it brings teens together in Pasadena, which is very important to me. Throughout the meetings, I learned how to plan, like test, execute the murder mystery. On the day that the event happened, I helped set everything up and it was a good feeling to know that our TAB group had put together an event that would help our teens in the, in the community. I believe that this will be my most memorable and memory for TAB because this taught me the importance of a teen group in our city and how we can make a plan 
from scratch and execute it together as a team. There's a lot of memorable <laughs> moments, especially just knowing that I met a lot of my friends through Talent Gap. So it was really nice to spend time with them like throughout the months and throughout the weeks of that. But I think my most memorable experience was would be the first time we were trying to do an escape room when we like came together and then we had to figure out and pick the locks ourselves. We were trying it ourselves. And it was really difficult, but it was also really fun because we had put the clues. We other groups had put the clues together, so they were just watching us, saying, "Is it difficult enough? Is it too difficult? Like no one's going to get it, and then no one's going to have fun with it." And it was just a really collaborative experience, and so I felt like that was fun to see how we can like come up with ideas, but also test them out, and then troubleshoot from there if they need to be modified, so that they can be fun for everybody. So what inspired me to join the Teen Advisory Board was that I really wanted to work on being able to actually have leadership on like different situations and stuff. Like usually I don't really see myself as like someone who can really plan well, but I really wanted to just learn how to plan better and also be able to interact with people better so I don't come off as like cold and stuff and I think that because especially with the youth network meetings at the beginning of every meeting you go through exercises with other people in the meeting so I think that really has helped me be able to interact with people better. I wanted to join TAB because I wanted to play a bigger role in my community um, Tab caught my attention when I attended one of the activities that they had planned, and I realized that, oh, that's something that I would like to do. And so I ended up joining, and it's been a really good experience. Um, in my opinion, I think Tab is a really great way to get involved in the community. Um, I think it was, it, it definitely was, I don't think. It was my first experience in as being a teen in Pasadena, and knowing that I can help out and do something um, for others um, because TAB is very good with doing events for other teams in the community. And I think that was my first experience of like, wow, I can do something. I'm only a kid, but I can do something. Um, and that was a really special experience. So whoever joins TAB, I hope that that's why you should join. Um, it's a great experience. You learn um, leadership, uh, public speaking, even um, organization, um, because you have to be on task, making sure if there's an event coming up, you got to make sure you meet those deadlines. Otherwise, the, the event falls apart. Um, but that's thankfully never happened because everyone on tab is very um, responsible and gets things done on time. So in my opinion, here's the thing. You get to a certain grade, of course, and this is usually in middle school, and a school administrator will tell you you need to do a community service project. And so all these kids run to like the Pasadena Humane Society or they run to the Pasadena Sheriff's Department or they go to, there's another place, like Union Station. But there's only a select few and most usually only one student who will immediately think I need to go to the library. And I was that one student in my class who felt like they needed to go to the library. As a kid, I always went there during elementary school from the time I was in kindergarten to the time that I was in fifth grade. And I would always go there after school with my parents and just finish my homework, read, get to know the library, faculty and the staff there. And it was a really comforting environment that I could call a second home. So I think TAB also helps you communicate with the library staff. And so you get to know them a lot better. You work alongside them. You help them with activities like murder mystery or the level up youth conference. And you get to know a lot more about what the library gets to offer. And so it makes you want to tell other people about it and have them join TAB as well because you just understand the magnitude of that experience and how much it makes you appreciate that library a little bit more. Um, so I think you can join TAB when you're 13. Um, that's when I joined, I think it was seventh grade, seventh or sixth grade for me. Um, I don't know. It was something about being able to help the library, help the community within the library. Um, I grew up going to the library every weekend, every Saturday, by, um, 
checking out new books, then the next Saturday checking them back in and trying to get as many books as I can to fit in my bag because my mom said, you can only take books that's in your bag. Um, and so I think being able to give back and making sure that those little kids who rent the library every Saturday or whenever they go, um, get the same experience as me because it, it really was a part of my childhood. And I'm so grateful that I was able to have a local library to go to, to be able to check out a new book. Um, and there's something special about checking out a book and reading it and being like, who read the book before me or who's going to read it after me. And I think that's also part of that library experience. Um, but I also did take part in a couple events and volunteering. Um, all those little experiences um, kind of added up and motivated me to stay on tab because I wanted to give that same experience I was lucky to be given um, to try and give it back to other teams in the community because they deserve that too. So I love the library, honestly. I didn't realize how important it was to me um, to have an, another place that I could really kind of call like a sanctuary, especially during high school. I think that the li my school library was great, but there's something else about being able to step outside of your typical school environment and step into a community environment where I'm closer to home, where I'm close to people that I've known since I was seven, six years old, and study there and help them and talk to them. It felt really like a second home again. And I signed up for any, when I stayed on tab, usually I like read the description that was online and immediately I just signed up for any opportunity that was available for volunteering in general not even if it was just tab but then I looked more in depth at the different responsibilities that it had and I was like I want to join this group specifically because I feel like they do a lot behind the scenes that people don't notice and then you open the curtain and it's like oh these people had a role to play in it they planned this whole event and everybody's shocked to know that they're just teenagers and I thought that that was really great and I also would work in the evenings and I found it comforting, you know, when it's six o'clock and you just hear Nick's voice on the intercom saying, the library is closing in 30 minutes and I'm along for the li I'm next to the librarians who are stacking up books or cleaning up after an event. It was really heartwarming to be able to be a part of that and interact with them. Um, I think TAB is unique to, I would, I'm gonna compare it to other volunteer opportunities at the library. Um, just because, I don't know, they seem to be comparable. Um, but volunteering at the library before I was on tab, it was a great way to um, minorly get involved. I mean, you're still, you're still part, you still kind of sign up for different events to um, help out in. But once you join tab, you take on the responsibility of either heading an event or helping getting a group together to head an event. And I think that's something that's very special because you're coming together with a bunch of other teams to help out and kind of create something catered towards the, the same team, your, the people sit are your same age. And I think that's a really unique experience because usually, I guess, volunteering, you kind of, you're just there and then you're seeing what people need you to do while you're there. But when you're on tab and you're heading an event, you know what needs to be done and you get to be the one in charge kind of making sure that everyone is catered to making sure that everyone has what they need and I think that's a really unique experience um, and I guess comparing it to other volunteer opportunities like you were mentioning at the sheriff station or the humane society um, I think you really get to connect with people when you're on tab you get to connect with the other tab members um, with the other adult advisors like Jane um, the other librarians, you get to kind of see what goes on at the library. And that's also a very unique experience because when you're a kid um, growing up in the library, you don't really know or see what goes on backstage, I guess you can say. So being on tab gives you that experience of getting to know what what had to happen to put this thing together. So. I think that you learn pretty early who's there on tab because they want to be there and then who's there because they have to be there. So to me, that's what makes tab special because you can you may bring a friend saying, oh, this is such a great group. I'm a part of it. You should join too. And you fill up the conversations are amazing. You So you're so excited to raise your hand and say, oh, I can be there at the next 
youth council meeting as a tab representative. I want to be there for the next level up youth conference. I can be there for the next teen writers meeting and I can spearhead this. But then the friend right next to you might be sitting here like these the conversation this conversation is really banal and they're really bored about what's going on and they're saying, This is not really for me. I'm not too interested. And I feel like that's what makes tab something really special and unique because it what selects the people who are really interested, who are really determined, who are really diligent and ambitious about the things that they want to improve in the community and what they want to contribute to the library. So it helps to show you the extent that teen advocacy can go to and the work that you put in really pays off. The tab teaches you that dedication and it teaches you not to follow the crowd, even if you feel like you're not going with you know you're going against the grain you're still going with a big group a small group actually right now but a small group of leaders who are there to help make the library better um i definitely see the library as you were saying as like a sanctuary or a place where you can go and not be afraid to be who you are um i think i learned this really young because i don't know the the library is so inviting and welcoming towards everyone and that was something that was a different experience for me um i think the library offers uh, a ton of resources and knowledge towards anything you can think of and i think that's really really cool because i don't think not everywhere has that like if you go to a school library they have minimal resources and maybe and like some books and some technology but the library has done a really great job of being able to provide for the community in those senses. And I think that's um, been really important. And I think for teens, importantly, um, in the community, I've seen the library as a place where I can go and join events and take part in events and meet other people who are my age and who are interested in the same things I am. And um, that people who I wouldn't see otherwise um, because we both have a love for the library. Um, and I think that's really important too. And um, I guess you could say that the library, the library is something special and I, I wish for my own kids someday um, that they get to have the same excitement I had um, going, getting up, going to the library, choosing out books, going home during the week, reading them as fast as possible so that I can turn them back in and get some new books. Um, I That's an experience that you can't have without um, the library. So, yeah. I hope the library is a second home to others. Um, I find, hope that they find peace in the stacks of books and the sound of a cart rolling on the tile floor and the chime of somebody checking out a book for maybe the fifth or sixth time that day. But I think that the libraries are really underrated in the facilities and the programs that they offer. So the more time that you put into learning about what they provide, the more you appreciate that establishment. I think that's what I've learned. And that's only something that only libraries can really give to the community. To learn more about the Teen Advisory Board, visit us at pasadena-library.net slash teens.